From family drama to finding the right dress, making it to the altar can feel like a roller coaster, especially if it happens later in life. Absolutely. So it's no surprise our next guest found inspiration in their own relationship to bring a one woman show to life at stages called The Bride or Does This Dress Make Me Look Married? <laughs> Let's welcome actress and writer Denise Finell and her husband and co writer Rick Pasqualone. You guys have an incredible story. I was just reading about it and was taken aback because all of these things that lined up were truly fate bringing you here today. Uh, it's, I read it sometimes and I can't believe it's absolutely real. <laughs> yeah. It's a dream come true and um, to be sharing it with everybody is such a gift. I mean, I love this man, but he wrote me a masterpiece and bringing it to Houston was epic and the audiences are responding and we're just having a lovely time doing it. So, yeah. we're thrilled. <laughs> you're here, we're going to let people know where we can see this one-woman show. But first, let's just start with your background. I mean, you have been involved with stages where you're currently on stage for years. Um, you said you loved Houston, and we love hearing that. Welcome home. I Thank you. Say that. Um, tell us a little bit about your background. So, I started out performing late-night catechism here at the Stages Theater, and um, it just turned into this huge thing where the audiences kept coming back, and we started developing relationships, and it was like somebody would play Mary and Joseph in the manger and then they would come back the next year and they would be married for real and then they would come back the next year and they would have a baby or I watched somebody like start off in middle school and then graduate high school and people started to invite me to events all over Houston the rodeo mutton busting oh yeah <laughs> so right I mean like all of your restaurants Houston was just uh, it's such a spectacular place so I just fell in love with Houston and Houston fell in love with me so it just was a natural fit and um, I really wanted to develop my own show for many, many years and so many people in Houston were like, what's next for you? And I finally got stages to commission to write a play and they said yes and... Um, they said yes to the dress. They said yes to the dress. <laughs> Nice. That's, That's why he's the That's right why he's your husband. Fast balls right down the middle. First of all, you guys have an incredible love story. You did both play in Tony and Tina for many, many years. As you were on stage, you know, Rick was not. And as Rick was on stage, Janice, you were not. But you played getting married thousands of times. But now you're really married. <laughs> yes. We kept missing each other in the play. And then we were actually brought back together. This is a, a little commentary on life. We got brought back together to play the parents oh, of the no. bride and groom. I was like, okay, we're okay. at that age now. We're there. So. At that we're there. <laughs> and, that's how, and that's how we reconnected for real later in life. And then here we are. Now we're married and we have a play called The Bride, which is right. loosely based on our life. We love to call it Two Truths and a Lie. And people are fascinated by the whole thing. They're like, is it true? Is your sister's name really Shazzy? Right. Do you have two best friends named Break, Dancy, and Latoya? Absolutely, those <laughs> things are true. Well, what so, is the lie? I want to know what the lie is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to watch the show. You're going to have to yeah. Hey, was that, I'll, I'll ask you this. Was that dress that we're seeing now, is that your real wedding dress? Absolutely Please. not. <laughs> no, come on. I actually bought my wedding dress in Houston. I was doing late night catechism while I was planning my entire wedding. So I planned most of my wedding online on Amazon while I was here doing late night catechism. And I bought my actual wedding dress at Dillard's. Oh, wow. Okay. And it was stunning. Wow. Yeah, it was a Look, junior we're looking bride. At a photo oh, there that's we it go. right Beautiful. there. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, yeah, and I, I bought my wedding band here in Houston. So very connected to Houston and being able to bring this show to these audiences is unbelievable, really, isn't kind it, Ricky? Kind of amazing. <laughs> Speaking of the show, you know, yes. The Bride or Does This Dress Make Me Look Married? I was thought you, what when I was reading the prompter, does it make me look fat? Of course, you know, <laughs> does it make me look married? Um, what is it about, you know, I know that it, it is loosely based on, you know, what you guys have gone through, but what can audiences expect? Well, I think part of the perspective was getting married at an older age, how things are different and how we make different choices when we're older and not just not just saying yes to everything but starting to question certain things and why why are these things why do we do this and that and so in questioning all that we we came up with this sort of funny take on being married in middle age and you go well it, there, there's a lot of humor there and then our, our families are just hilarious oh. to begin with two giant Italian families oh, thrown yes. together that, yes. that was a terrifying thought for me. Yeah. Like, are what is going to happen? Is that in the show, too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's all okay. in there. And, and the dress part for me, you know, as a bride of a certain age, going dress shopping, you know, all of a sudden it was like I would walk into the dress shop and everybody would be like, where's the bride? And they would look over me to oh, my younger yeah. cousin. 
And you know, most women now, it's so common for us to be married later in life. And it's always that uncomfortable question that people ask you, why aren't you married? When are you getting married? Mm -hmm. I didn't get married until I was almost 50 years old. And I just turned 50 and I normally wouldn't even say that on camera. I can't believe I just said it. Girlfriend, <laughs> I, I just six months ago got married at 40. So there you go. Go, right? <laughs> yeah. But we're owning it and it's empowering to show other women that it is possible later in life to find true love. And this story really helps to explain that. It's also um, very connected to family history and rituals and traditions. When Stages finally said yes to this play, two days later, my dad passed. And that was a very difficult time. And bringing grief into a room and making entertainment out of it is a very difficult thing to do. But I wanted to include it somewhere in there Absolutely. because it's a common shared experience that most people don't get to uh, express or find somebody that shared that experience with them. So my husband, um, that's when he stepped in and I said, I think I'm going to take a break from theater for a while and just kind of grief the loss of my dad. And um, Ricky stepped in and he wrote the play. He said, you are not taking this year off. You are not passing on this opportunity. I'm going to write this play. And he did. He wrote the whole play. And it's so beautiful and so fun. And every night I get to speak my husband's words and pay tribute to my family. And we always have a saying in our families, which is... It's what you do next. It's what you do oh. next. And as long as you speak their names, they always stay with us. So Absolutely. getting to uplift some of my family members during the show is the biggest gift for me. Well, may his memory always be a blessing. Thank you. Thank and you. speaking of true love, we know that you love Jose Altuve. <gasps> <laughs> He's not here. I don't oh, want to surprise you, oh, but sorry. maybe one day Wait, we no. can <laughs> make a meeting <laughs> I'm sorry, you. but maybe we'll put the word out there yeah. and the divine universe will bring him to you, Denise, okay? Thank you so much. You two are a joy and best of luck with this Thank play. you All so right. much for having us. Well, Thank The you. Bride or Does This Dress Make Me Look Married is happening now through May 14th at Stages. Performances run Wednesday through Sunday and take a start at only $30. For a link to purchase yours, swing by the Scene on Houston Life section of our website at HoustonLife.tv.